What's going on guys, Louis here with the HM3000 creating 1D elements. We have finally arrived at the mashing tutorials and this first one is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm not going to discuss the, the usefulness or ap applications of each type of element like rigids, bars, beams, but I'll leave a link to Altair's own PDF as they explain it in a very simple way. And I highly recommend you read that PDF to get the theory behind each type of element before you watch this video. So back to the tutorial, we have three ways of creating 1D elements. So let's get to it. First, we're going to retrieve the 1D elements file. And the first way is to create that 1D element between two nodes. So go to the 1D page, bars panel, and bar 2 sub panel. Leave the offset values as 0 and also leave the pins A and pins B as zero. They are the values for the degrees of freedom at each end of the element. So go ahead and assign the property one to the element and see that we can create bars and beams in this panel. Now in orientation, it is asking us to set the orientation of the Y local coordinate of the element. The local X coordinate is always going to be along the length of the element. So you don't, you don't have to set that. Let's change that to components and set one for X and Y. These are in relation to the global coordinate system. So what we're doing here is setting the local Y coordinate of the element to have a component of one from the X global axis and one from the Y global axis. Go ahead and pick the two nodes for the element and we see that the Y axis of the element was really set as, as a vector of components 1, 1, and 0. The X axis is always along the element by default and the Z axis is automatically set 90 degrees apart from the other two axes. Now let's create a number of elements along the line. So go to the line mesh panel, select a line, change the active component to line mesh and set the option add elements to current component. Verify the option segment is whole line is on and change the element configuration to rigid. Click mesh and the density panel opens. So activate the set segment selector and type 20 in the element density field. Click set all and now we have 20 rigid elements along this line. At last, we'll create plot elements. So let's turn everything off except the elements in the Feature Elements component. So go to the Tool page, Features panel, select the Feature Elements component. Enter 30 for Feature Angle, check the Ignore Normals box and click Features. Then HyperMesh creates plot elements along the perimeter and sets them in a new component called Features. So those were three simple ways that we can use to create one or more 1D elements. In case you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can help. Remember to check out the PDF in the description to learn more about 1D elements. Leave your thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.